We know that Hashem Barach is mercy. He always wants to do good. So how can it be that He is doing things that seems to us as bad, things that look so cruel for us, so painful for us, so, so much disturbing? How, how can it be? That's the will of Hashem. That's what you want to say on, on King of Mercy, on Ava Rahman, Father of Mercy. You want to say that that's His will. That that little child is going to lose his parents, that that woman is going to be a widow, that's that what you want to say, or that that's the will of Father of Mercy. You cannot say that. It's crazy to say that. And on top of that, we know that it's written that Bechol Tzaratam Lo Tzar, that Hashem Yitbarach is suffering from our pain. So how can you say that that's His will? So I answered that question and I told you, look, a lot of times a father can punish his child even that he doesn't really want to do that, still he is doing it. So you can say for sure, yes, he done that, he took full responsibility on his act, on punishing his child, of constricting him in a certain way, limiting him in a certain way, but it's not his inner will. He is doing it, but he is forcing himself to do that, like that it's written on Avraham Avinu, Vaishlach Avraham et Yado, that he was sending his hand to take the knife to slaughter his child. He, he really didn't want to do that. It was very far from his nature to do that. But he was forcing himself to do that, and by that he actually revealed his love to his child. He actually revealed his love to the Creator. So when the Creator, he is acting to us in mercy and in love, that's a very nice love. It's a very natural thing for a father to support and help his son. But when you see a father that fight with himself to educate his son and he's forcing him to certain rules, to certain limitations, by that he's revealing, he's, he's taking out, exposing a deeper love actually to his son. Because he is fighting his own nature of being compassion and being love, in lo love with love and with patience and, and with all of good midot, and he's forcing himself now to be cruel. And that cruelty actually, that's the way that he reveals his mercy.